Welcome to today's 15 minute yin practice. Let's get started seated at the back of our mats today. Legs extended ahead of us. Take an inhale, lengthening through that spine. As you exhale, begin to fold from the hips. And once you're as far as you can go with that straight spine, then allow the rest of the upper body and forehead to melt towards the legs, forehead reaching toward the knees. Inhale deep into that low belly space, feeling it expand. And exhale fully and slowly, beginning to get grounded here, fully coming into this present moment. Notice your state of mind, emotions, any physical areas of stiffness and tension in the body. And with your next exhale, imagine all of those things leaving with the breath, all of the tension, all of the worries, all of the thoughts or emotions that are not serving you in this moment. Let them go as you find stillness right here, right now. As we go through this short practice together, I'd encourage you to simply be the observer of your thoughts and emotions, noticing anything that comes up for you, beginning to know yourself deeper, without engaging in those thoughts, emotions, whatever comes up, just noticing, meeting yourself with compassion here, and letting go of the judgments simply coming into a state of being. We have one minute left in this first pose, so I will leave you now to go inward, to tune into the wisdom of the body, and maybe set any intentions you have for yourself today. Go ahead and take one more inhale through the nose here and let it go fully and slowly. When you're ready, gently make your way onto your back for our first rebound. Gently tucking the shoulders down and back, feeling the echo of the pose, continuing to stay connected to your body to what's happening for you right now. Whenever you're ready, begin to raise the legs upward, reaching them towards the sky. We're taking our second yin pose now, which is our waterfall. Now, if it's hard for you to keep the legs up in this position without any help, then you can always do this against a wall or wrap a towel or a strap of some sort around the feet to help hold your legs here. Inhale deep into the low belly space and exhale fully, allowing all the air to leave the lungs. Inhale, drawing that breath into the hamstrings as you exhale, let go of any tension, surrendering deeper here, noticing the benefits of this gentle inversion, this wonderful detox for the cardiovascular system, for the veins, helping rid any inflammation from those calves or legs. Continue to be the mindful observer of yourself. 
shifting the attention back into the body, back to this moment if your thoughts have begun to wander. When we practice this habit of tuning inward, meeting ourselves with compassion and without judgment, we're able to find wisdom and clarity from within. But if we allow our thoughts to run wild, to fill our minds with judgment and self-hatred, it prevents us from being able to really let go and receive. Part of finding deeper trust and peace in life is being able to let go of control. And oftentimes, we like to overthink, to worry in our mind because it gives us the illusion that we are doing something productive to maintain control or solve problems. But in reality, all that this really does is keep us distracted, keeps us unfocused, and unable to flow through life with ease, trusting that we'll have just what we need when we need it. Now we're going to go into our next pose, which is the plow pose. If you have any neck injury or pain, then I really recommend skipping this pose, maybe just staying in your caterpillar pose a little longer instead. If you are ready to go into our plow pose, then begin to gently lift the hips, placing the palms of the hand at the low back. Allow the legs to slowly reach overhead, toes reaching toward the floor. It's really important to make sure that the majority of the weight is staying on our shoulders, so we're protecting the neck here. As you inhale, feel that breath expands through the belly, through the ribs and the shoulder blades. Feeling the full expanse as you fill up. As you exhale, slowly, Feel the tension melt out of the body, surrendering deeper into the pose. Toes beginning to reach a little further back or maybe closer toward the floor if they aren't touching yet. And if you feel like you can go a little bit deeper, maybe you want to invite the knees to drop to the mat now, taking our snail pose. Still being sure to listen to the body not forcing anything, not pushing anything, simply being where you're at today. Wherever you are is just where you need to be. Be sure to listen to your body day by day, giving it what it's asking for, trusting that it guides you with wisdom. This is a great time to find stillness in your mind, to find that inner compassion, letting go of comparisons, to simply honor yourself here, to feel held and loved by yourself. Knowing real growth in our lives, meaningful and sustainable, doesn't happen when we are hard on ourselves when we force things, but it happens when we learn to have a deep and genuine trust and acceptance of ourselves, knowing that we don't have to be perfect and have it all figured out before we're worthy of love, that in meeting ourselves where we're at, it's how we learn to grow and get better day by day. Wonderful job when you're ready and in your own time. Make sure those hands are still placed on the low back and then gently allow the legs to come back overhead and down to the mat as you roll the spine down one vertebrae at a time, coming into another rebound. If 
Feel the echo of the pose, the shifts that have begun to occur physically, mentally, or emotionally. Continue to be the observer. When you're ready, just gently turn yourself over onto your belly, and we're going to finish with our Sphinx Pose. So with the elbows aligned under the shoulders, palms flat on the mat, begin to peel the chest up, extending through the spine, gently countering the forward folds we did with our spine with the gentle back bends now. Inhale deeply into the spinal cord and exhale, letting go of tension, making sure the glutes and the legs are relaxed, relaxing the feet and ankles, shoulder blades dropping down and away from the ears. Inhale, drawing peace and presence into this moment. And exhale, setting the intention to let go of judgments, expectations, and the need for control in order to make room to allow growth, to allow yourself to hear that inner wisdom and the true needs of your body, your mind, and your spirit in this moment right now. worthy of compassion, of self-love and kindness, without needing to prove yourself or earn it. Simply meet yourself where you're at today. We have just one more minute here. Stay connected to this presence. Stay connected to the breath. Every exhale, breathing that tension away, surrendering deeper into this moment. Great job on your next exhale. Gently allow the chest to melt back towards the mat and make your way onto your back for our final Shavasana. Arms and legs extended, palms facing up. Finding a deeper final state of relaxation just noticing the rise and the fall of the belly, feeling the effects that this practice has had on you mentally, emotionally, and physically, and maybe even spiritually. For just a few moments more, be the observer.
and you're ready, slowly turn onto your right side and meet me seated at the center of the mat for a final closing breath together. As you inhale, gently place the palms on the heart, feeling its rhythm within you. And with your exhale, taking a brief moment to acknowledge yourself, to thank yourself with love and gratitude for honoring your mind and body in this way today. Thank you so much for joining me for today's short practice. I pray that your days are filled with greater peace, ability to let go of control, and to trust yourself and the flow of life with deeper peace and ease. If you enjoyed today's class, would you please do me a huge favor and be sure to like this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss any future classes. Thank you again for joining me today, and I will see you soon. Have a great day, my friends. Namaste.